High on the County Durham moors, the River Tees flows out of Calgreen Reservoir over the Dolorite steps of the Wind Sill. Dropping over 100 foot and 600 foot long, this cascade is one of the longest in the UK. This is Cauldron Snout. Considered by most kayakers who see it to be too sketchy, however, the first documented descent was by Nick Doll, circa 1990, and is described in his classic book, Canoeist, A Guide to the North East. He was my inspiration to consider kayaking it myself, even though he advised no one else to attempt it, and I understand that he broke at least one ankle on the final fall. I first visited Cauldron Snout in 2003, on a family outing with my young boys. I was really impressed by the falls and their size. The seed was well and truly planted to kayak it myself. I made a few more visits over the next couple of years and returned to Padlet in May 2004, along with a few motley mates to provide safety cover. However, none of them fought to bring a throw line, any wet gear to assist if needed. The water level looked perfect, a nice medium flow, so the second ever documented attempt to paddle cauldron snout was underway. The run didn't go quite according to plan. I only got halfway down and lost my paddle. Feeling a bit battered and bruised, and with no spare paddle, this day's events called to a halt. Over the next few years, there were more documented descents. Joel Alexander in September 2011, at medium level. Sam Ellis at the scary high level in November 2011. Rory Woods, Jamie Kahn, John Tomlinson and a few others followed. It took until April 2013 for me to return again with Michael Hutchinson, Stu Ridley, who also paddled that day. The water level was disappointingly low. Only a compensation release from the dam. This made the top section easier, but the final fall more hazardous. However, after a quick inspection and visualisation, it was time to do it.
Well, another run that didn't go according to plan, however, luck was on my side. The only damage was a split boat and a broken paddleboard. Since 2013, I'm aware of other descents. Stu Ridley did the top section at a good flow. Rory Woods ran it in 2014 at a massive level, destroying his boat and nearly himself. Sam Ellis returned at least once, injuring his shoulder on the bottom fall, and I understand Ben Johnston and a number of others have now followed. But overall, the members of Cauldron Snout Club will probably remain small.